I have spent the last few days in Vegas to attend a Forza Motorsport creator event which I was kindly invited to by Xbox and Turn 10 Studios. Let me take you along for the journey, the activities I got up to, the people I met and what we did together. It's safe to say it was a very eventful two days. I am giving away some Forza Motorsport Premium Edition codes. I've got multiple to give away. For a chance to win, make sure you're subscribed and then comment your gamertag below. Thanks to Turn 10 for providing me with the codes to give away. I flew in on the Tuesday and arrived at 2pm, where I shortly after met up with the other Forza creators who were there, such as AR12 Nick, Slap Train, Eric Trip Triple Ron, Steve-O, Hokey, DJ Customs, Equinox, Rye, Rudism and Ash, who I travelled with from the UK, as he was the only other UK creator there. The first activity was a meet-up with the Forza developers and the big bosses in a room called the Skybox. It was an awesome room. It had Forza Motorsport trailers playing on all of the big TVs and it was a great area to meet and socialise with other creators who had been invited by Xbox, along with the devs such as Chris Asaki, who I had to get a selfie with, and Dan Greenwalt as well. This was more of just a social event to meet who else was invited. As we left that activity we were given a few gifts which consisted of two motorsport themed Xbox controllers, a yellow controller to match the Cadillac in the cover car for Forza Motorsport and a blue Elite Series 2 controller to match the Corvette E-Ray on the cover car as well. I kind of want to use them but I kind of don't want to use them because they look really cool. Massive thanks to Xbox for these two controllers. We spent the rest of Tuesday evening just hanging around with the Forza guys and losing money on slot machines with Eric Ship. That was eventful. The following day was the main event, a track day at the Spring Mountain Motor Resort just north of Vegas. Myself and the other Forza creators were assigned to the afternoon session. There was another morning session group who consisted of these guys here. You might recognise a few people, Captain Sparkles, I, Justine and a few other people were there. We, however, were in the afternoon session. The afternoon session was split up into three sections. Section one was a sim racing session where we got to play the new Forza Motorsport game on sim racers and controllers, along with once again socialise with the Forza Motorsport devs. A Corvette C8 track session where we got to drive a Corvette C8 on track behind an instructor in sort of a lead follow type drive style. And then my favourite, an autocross session in a Cadillac CT4 Blackwing. This was a tight course laid out by cones. We got two runs each, no practice, the fastest time wins. There was a bonus session at the end of the day where the instructors took us round the track themselves as a passenger drive. That was something else. Well I had the Corvette C8 session first, but before that we had a group photo over at the podium where we were introduced to our custom helmets, which look sick. According to my helmet, I am now to be referred to as Jake XVW. We took the group photo, went back inside to gear up with the rest of our gear. We got some Forza Mode Sport Alpine Stars gloves as well. Put all our gear on, got ready, went up to the start area, got fitted up with a neck brace thing. Had a quick introduction to the car that we would be driving, all of which were obviously Corvette C8s. And as I said, it was a lead follow type track experience split into small groups. I was paired up with Slap Train, who was in the grey car at the back. I was in the red car in the middle and the instructor was in front. We did flip it round, so the clip you've seen on the screen might we might be flipped. We had about 20 minutes of laps, it felt like, which was awesome fun. In hindsight, I did wish that I drove the car in manual mode with the paddle shifters, but it was still an awesome, it was awesome.
back to the left here. was my first time driving a left-hand drive car which did really throw me off I was kind of thinking that I was hitting the apexes but I wasn't because I was sort of offset as to where I my brain would usually think I am but other than that it was a ton of fun and I think I did pretty well next up we went to play on the sims now I don't have much footage of this that I can show you we were only in this room for about 20 to 30 minutes I played pretty much all the time on one of these sims, spoke a bit to Chris Sasaki and had a ton of fun there, but my favourite session, to my surprise, was the Cadillac Autocross course. My small group consisted of, oh my god it's Firefox, or OMG it's Firefox, Slap Train, DJ Customs, Steve-O, Eric Ship and Ash. We didn't have any practice runs, we were put straight in the car, told to drive up to the start line and go. The instructor talked us through the course on a radio live. We got two back-to-back -back runs and that was it. For the results, Slap Train came first, Sonia came second despite actually hitting one of the cones and getting a penalty so only one of her runs was valid. I came third which I was very happy with considering again it's my first time driving a left hand drive car and we all got some group photos afterwards. There was lots of group photos taken over the course of the, of the two days we were there because it's not very often that all of those Forza creators meet up together. And then to end off the day we had the passenger laps with the instructor driving the car himself. That was really cool. We got about two or three laps. Just goes to show how much further I could have been pushing the car when I was driving it myself. Crazy, right? After this we all cooled down in the muting room, jumped back on the bus and went to the hotel. As Forza guys we kept hanging around for the rest of the evening making the most of being together in Vegas. We went to In-N-Out which you can't get in the UK so I had to go there. Lost some more money on slot machines but it's got to be done. I'm never going back to Vegas again so I may as well try it. On the final day which is the day we flew out we had a bit of time to kill so myself, Eric Ship and Ash we went to the Shelby Museum or the Shelby Heritage Centre just for something to do that was really cool to see went to see the vegas dome up close which turns out is just sort of like hockey puck type sized things with really bright leds on so that was cool and then later that day we flew back home huge thanks once again to turn 10 and xbox for the invite definitely a week to remember and it's only made me even more hyped to play force motorport when it releases i'm gonna have a ton of content as you can expect hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next video